I've recently started using Roam Research for my personal knowledge management and it's a game changer. In this video, I want to give you a quick overview so that you can also start to curate your personal knowledge library. I have made a video previously stating the origin and given a brief overview of the Zettelkasten method, which you can find linked above and below in the description. This is a deeper dive into what it means to set up a Zettelkasten in Roam Research and why it's worth it. I will go over three main points. Overview of a system, two main rules to follow and why I don't use book highlights. As an overview of the system, you should take fleeting and literature notes, and then spend some time, I usually do it the next day, to transfer the literature notes into permanent notes, with all references. So here I am taking literature notes from How to Take Smart Notes by Sunky Arons. I am taking only my response to the book notes, and then I am tagging the notes. One thing to remember that your zettles, so your idea cards, are supposed to be your ideas. They are your responses to the stimulus. Essentially the little blueprint you want to follow is to capture, to elaborate, to then connect the notes all together. Two main rules to follow. Every single note should be brief. I want to summarise most of my ideas or notes in one or two sentences. And number two is I want to write and summarise my own thoughts and response to the stimuli. So this means no quoting, no copy and paste. You can reference the book or the page number, but if you copy and paste the author's words, you're also copying and pasting their thoughts that are heavily edited because the author's already done the thinking for you, so now you have to respond to the thinking. And essentially, you want your own knowledge library and not a curated library of snippets. So a lot of the time on YouTube, we see people taking highlights of book notes and then talking about it. So they have the direct highlight next to what they're saying. Personally, I find this process really convoluted because when I'm reading a book, I'm not reading the book to then resurface 10 or 15 quotes from the book. I'm reading the book to get a personal insight and to personally just get a new view on the world and grow as a person. So as I read a book, I may actually just make one literature note as I'm reading 10, 15 pages, and then I'll just tag the book name because I read books in physical form so also tagging the page number seems a little bit pointless since if I put the book away or get a newer version of the book the page numbers won't match and I don't want to be tied to the fact that I have to have that particular edition of the book if I want to reread it in the future. Highlighting and importing notes gives me an extra step in the process which I don't need, I don't want it because the end goal of this whole exercise is to write your response to the stimulus without the quote there and you can always resurface quotes from a book on the internet and say you copied and pasted a quote and then you left it without your response when you're reading that quote again you may get a few different ideas that spring from just that little quote and those ideas are already quite far from the original idea of the author which was then heavily edited before it was getting published so it's really your response to these ideas that will make this effort worth it and speaking of Zettelkasten and the entire idea of taking notes in this way check out my video discussing the book by Zonkiarans how to take smart notes. 